Hello from Australia, my name is Olga and I'm completely blind and here is Steve. Luckily for me he's not blind because he's going actually to guide me in a 15 kilometer run tomorrow. Hi Steve. Hi Olga, how are you? Very good. Um, could you please tell us a little bit about your background as a volunteer, as a runner uh, and a guide for visually impaired people? Sure. Um, I've done a lot of running myself, uh, a lot of half marathons and things like that. And I think that's where I first became interested is one of the runs down the Gold Coast in, um, in Queensland, Australia, where I was doing a half marathon there and I saw another guide uh, taking another visually impaired person out on the track and I thought, well, what a wonderful thing to do. You know, you've got someone there. And that's, and that's how we come across and that's how we met. Um, through the Achilles Foundation, they uh, provide guides for people that may have some sort of uh, disability or some sort of impairment where they need some assistance with running and that's where the guides come into play. So while well, the majority of the people that I've participated um, have been blind, they also do um, assistance for people that may be in wheelchairs or cerebral palsy and things like that. And it's a, a worldwide organisation, so it's just like the in Australia. There's many chapters all around the world. And if someone is interested in trying to find a guide, you just need to look up the Achilles um, organisation in your own country. So I found Achilles uh, through a friend and then after that I looked them up on Facebook and uh, I was lucky enough to meet Steve because he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, show people how we actually communicate as we run. So I guess uh, the number one is the wrist tether that we use but I understand there are other tethers. There are other tethers. Some people just use like a buff that normally would go around your head like a scarf that goes oh, around really? your head. <laughs> no, I just haven't finished. We have just done 15k. We had a wonderful 15k and I think we got through it in about an hour 27, an hour 28. It, so. was, it was actually very surprising because when we were training back at home, it was all just footpath, whereas the majority of the run today was a, a trail run with like rocks and sand and up and down the hill all the time. Yeah, so there's a lot of hill, you had a lot of single trail from time to time, so you're trying to get past people. I, I don't know how Steve was a, able to navigate me. It was like a, a weaving in and out between people. I, I think stepped I just on just pulled on the tether and you just followed <laughs> was the easiest way to do it. But no, you did a marvellous job and I think you should be very proud of what you actually achieved today. Well done. Thank you. You're Thank more than welcome. Well, if there is someone who wants uh, to be a guide and uh, give other blind people a joy uh, that I have experienced, uh, go for it. It's amazing. Thank it you, Steve. You're more than welcome. 15 k is all done. Thanks. You're welcome. There is one thing I would like uh, to stress is that you don't have to be super fit to start uh, running or even walking with a guide, isn't it? Correct, Steve? That's correct, Olga. So really you can start off at any fitness level whatsoever. So people can walk um, and if you want to run, you can graduate to running and you slowly build and you can slowly build. If you don't want to run, you don't have to run. You can just get for a, go out for a walk and a guide will take you for a walk. This time we went, uh, when we went for a run, I had to stop to warm it because I was trying to so hard to impress you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to be doing that, but you know, it was magnificent. I mean, the first time out we did three kilometers before our walking break. Uh, this weekend we're just about to do a 15 kilometer run. Yeah, um, and in so a few weeks we're doing half marathon. We have got the half marathon, another goal set um, up as well. And when was it, two weeks ago, last weekend or the weekend before? We did our first official park run and you came in at 26 and a half minutes, which was flying for yourself. So well done to you. <laughs> Thank You've you. You've really excelled. Thank you very much. Well, good luck, guys. Uh, and uh, definitely consider uh, finding a volunteer to run with. It's a lot of fun and it's uh, really, really important to get out and do something.